Hey guys, DW's Garage here again. I'm uh, going to be showing you a little mod that I did a while ago on my car. There's also, I'm going to be doing another new mod to my car today. One of the earlier mods that I've done to my car was a sill plate done in stainless steel, brushed and polished. It says Challenger on it. Really nice accent to your doors. Um, pair of these run about $79 on Amazon. Um, just have three double M stick tape on the back side, two strips on the back. Uh, just clean your sills really clean and placement is pretty easy. You got one line right here and actually another line right there that you can actually center them in, in the middle. So a relatively easy way to do some centering on it but I think it looks nice looks a lot nicer to me than um, let's say doing all the vinyl uh, sill covers that they have you know with the cutouts to show your paint through and everything but uh, I like the chrome look I like polished look guess that's another probably old school thing seems though a majority of things today are done um, with black blackouts on everything hence the chargers and the uh, Challengers all having you know satin black rims and dark stuff. I mean, that's why I've got polished small polished on my rim, and then the rest of it's all in black. You know, the scat packs in satin black, the spoilers in satin black that's part of the scat pack package. But uh, then, of course, also as well on this one, you have the uh, satin black uh, fuel door on this as well, whereas the other ones have chrome. Um, I'm okay with my uh, the satin black that's on this car. It's not a whole lot, so I'm okay with it. I do like the fact that I do have some chrome on the wheels. You know, I was, like I said, a big chrome guy. So I liked cars with a lot of chrome. I had cars with a lot of chrome. Um, one of my first cars that I had when I was a teenager, I mean, I had 72 Chevelle, had 70 Chevelles. Cutlasses all back there in the 70s, even had uh, 60s Mustangs, but uh, do like the Challengers today. They are the muscle car today. Uh, Camaro and uh, Mustang, they started off looking like the old muscle cars, really good. They've still gone, you know, nice in the way they're looking now, but they are going towards more of a sports car rather than keeping with the muscle car tradition as far as I'm concerned but hey that's not what I'm here for I'm here for this love this car love the fact that it's a nod to the old muscle cars and looks more like the old muscle car than any other one um, but today I'm going to be adding a emblem on my spoiler on the back of my car um, Spoiler on the back of these scat packs don't have an emblem at, at all. Your SRTs, they all have the uh, SRT emblem that goes right here in the corner. Uh, the Hellcats, they also have the SRT with the Hellcat symbol right here on the corner. My car doesn't have an emblem on the spoiler. Now it's a scat pack. It's also a shaker hood car. My car... The only thing my car has on it, as far as emblems, I have the uh, B on my uh, fenders, which is, I like that a lot. I actually prefer that one over the one that says 6.4 uh, liter, because, like I said, I like old muscle cars. I don't want to know about liters. I want to know about this. I want to know about what cubic inch this car is. I'm here in America, darn it. I want to know what cubic inch it is. And this is a 392 Hemi, dang it. This is not a 6.4 liter. It just doesn't sound as cool. Kind of the way, you know, miles per hour sound cooler than kilometers. Um, of course, I've got the Challenger emblem. My car's also the RT emblem on it. But that Scat Pack B logo there. The only thing that I have on my car that says shaker, that came stock from the factory that is, 
of this little teeny emblem right there passenger side of the car right below the air vent it says shaker of course you can pop the hood on my car and it says shaker in the back of the hole when you pop the hood it says shaker in the back but you don't know that unless you pop the car open pop the hood open I mean um, I kind of like to let people know what I'm driving so I kind of figured hey why don't I copy the SRT and the Hellcat and I'm gonna put an emblem on my spoiler back here and I'm gonna let them know when they come up behind me they're not just driving behind a regular Dodge Challenger. I'm going to let them know that they're coming up behind a Shaker Dodge Challenger. Because that's what this car is. It's a Shaker Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack. Yes, this thing's got one of the longest names out of all of them. But I think this will look cool. and It'll accent my car quite well. And like I said, it goes along with the SRT and the Hellcat for the placement. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clean off the uh, spoiler there. Get my alcohol cleaner. Put a little bit on there. Put it on my microfiber towel here. We don't want to do any scratching or anything. But just give this a good clean. Don't want any dirt. My, my car's clean, but it's been sitting in the garage. And let's face it, even if it just sits in the garage, it gets dirty. Every time I come in and look at my car, it's got cobwebs on it or a little bit of dust, a little bit of that. It doesn't matter. It's always got something on it. Kind of drives me nuts. Especially when I go through the trouble of cleaning the car. Um, but, let's get that all cleaned off. Get that dried off. There, that looks nice. Now, I happened to stop by the uh, Dodge dealership where I bought this Challenger from um, just so I could stop in and take a look at an SRT or a Hellcat, whichever I found first, uh, just to get a picture. That way I can uh, use it as a reference, which was what I did right there. I stopped in. Took a picture. SRT on 2016 Dodge Challenger SRT that's still on the lot yet at the Dodge dealership. But I think the placement. I actually got the T going. Just a little bit past that hump right there, or that turn. So, I like to be exact on things when I do stuff like this. I like to take measurements, all those types of things. But all in all, I have a pretty good eye for what center on things are. At least I think so. <laughs> what is that? I'm talking about two and five eighths to that turn right there. And I ordered the shaker emblem online too. Um, I actually got this off of eBay. And it showed up within three days of ordering it. Really fast. I've actually got a 
another emblem that I ordered at the same exact time as this one and still haven't gotten it yet. I didn't know whether I was going to put this one or the other one on, but this one's here. And I think this is a good idea to go with this one anyways. I might use the other one somewhere else on the car. Come up with something else. Like I said, I think I have a better eye for that than most people. I get it. Sun in the background is kind of glaring on me, so it's kind of dark. But. This emblem came, and actually when I first took it out of the packaging and I put it up here, didn't want to meet flush with the uh, spoiler, and because yeah, the spoiler the spoiler is kind of arc on here. It has a little slight arc in it, so I actually took the shaker emblem and I bent it just a little bit, very lightly. If you do something like this, don't put a lot of pressure on it, or you'll probably snap it right in half the way it fell. I mean, because it's just going to be made out of a light uh, cast aluminum or something like that. Because this is a metal one. Um, but, gave it a little pressure on it and it just kept sticking it up there until it looked like it went with the uh, arc really good. Hello. Touch my uh, base here for what's holding my camera. All right. Well, anyways, there you go. And we have our shaker emblem on there, all attached. I think it looks pretty good, guys. As you can see, that light in the background. go now anybody coming up behind me if they get close enough they're darn well gonna know they're riding behind a shaker challenger which is just the way I would want it um and I know like I told you earlier guys I mean I've got other mods coming for this car in fact I've got another one right here in this box right here that I'm gonna be doing um, I'll make another video of that. Um, uh, I do have something that I want to tell you guys. Um, something that I bought off a line. Also on eBay. And uh, I don't know if anybody has uh, done anything on this or even looked into this. But um, there is a sticker company out there called it was Metro Metro Graphics thank you for shopping at Metro Graphics well I ordered some basically stickers online they're supposed to go over top of your shocks on your uh, deck lid and your hood and they're supposed to go on there and they're supposed to be B5 blue and I figured well I'll try it just you know I mean I know it wasn't a lot of money, it wasn't something that I was planning on being permanent on the car, but I figured, eh, I'll, I'll do it, you know, maybe it'll look halfway decent. Big color difference. They say they're B5 blue. That don't look like B5 blue to me. I mean, yeah, it's close. But I mean, I'm going to put it on this car and it's going to be right close to the paint job. You pop the hood, you see the paint job here, you see the paint job 
on the uh, quarter or the pa or the front fender, that's too close. And not to mention, when I ordered it, I ordered it with, with the, those um, hold, uh, cup holder, beverage holder um, decals. They're supposed to go up underneath your hood. They got the big round uh, uh, spots in the front plastic and the front nose of the car on either the right or the left hand side. And, well, they had these. I ordered them for Challenger. They sent them to me. They say Charger. I even double checked to see uh, what I ordered. And it does say Challenger on my order. And they sent me Charger. So, they will be getting those back because uh, color sucks, honestly. And, hey, you didn't even send me the right name. I don't drive a Charger. I drive a Challenger. But, that's it for today guys uh again like the video share the video subscribe that's what keeps me going that's what uh makes these uh mods possible so that's it guys dw's garage out of here